Go. Go. Hi, I'm Joe with Backcountry Solar. This morning we're going to show you some of the examples of uses for the ZAMP 120 watt portable solar kit. Solar is able to be manipulated for many uses very easily. This is the portable kit. As the legs pop out, and we can set it up. As you can see, they have an LED screen on the back, waterproof charge controller. They come with 20 feet of cable. One of the uses we're going to do today is show you how to charge other batteries when needed. These are great for running on your RVs to maintain your batteries in your RVs, but at times you find that we have other batteries that need attention or charging. In this particular panel here, you can change and read the amps. We're getting 4.4 amps right now. 2.8 at this point. What we want to do is we have a low ATV battery sitting right here. Okay. ATV battery is charged at about 1.2 amps. So what we're going to do is we're going to block half of this panel and see what we have. We're still at two, but so we're going to come over more with it. There we go. Right now, blocking a little better than half the panel. We're at 1.5 amps. At this point, we can take and hook to this battery which requires at least 1.2 amps for charging. Once we've connected, this will reset to see what we have. Because right now we're putting in 1.5 amps into this low ATV battery to be charged. This can actually be done inside your machine when you're camping. Hi, right, we're back. After a short time, we've been watching and monitoring this, make sure we don't get to where we're overcharging the battery. But the battery does have enough power in it to start an ATV. As you can see, these have a quick disconnect. As with us on our ATVs, we have these on our off of our batteries where we can charge them because we do maintain our batteries during the winter through a toy box charger in our RV that runs off of the solar panel. Hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day.